Hello everyone, welcome to Mia's Arate Art School. I'm Adam and today we're going to be looking at some Christmas vocabulary. Are you ready? Great! So let's begin. When I was little, I used to get so excited on Christmas Eve that I was physically sick because that's when Santa Claus, also known as Father Christmas, delivers presents to good boys and girls. And he knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. And here we have where the sleigh normally travels through the snow. Now, he travels around the world on a sleigh pulled by magical flying reindeer. This one here is called Rudolph and as you'll see, he has a very shiny red nose. Reindeer. Santa Claus. Sleigh. Present. So when Santa finds your home, he lands his sleigh on the roof and gets into your house down the chimney or using Christmas magic if you don't have one. So don't worry if you don't have a chimney on your house. Chimney. And then, well, he crawls out of your fireplace and leaves small presents in the Christmas stockings you've hung. In these stockings, Santa has left candy canes and teddy bears, so the children who live here must have been very well behaved. Oh, and before going to bed, people must make sure the fire is out, so no fire in the fireplace, because you don't want to risk Santa getting hurt. Let's look at the colour of these stockings. Candy cane there. Okay, ah, as I thought, these stockings are red and green Christmassy colours. Stockings, fireplace. Now, at Christmas time, people hang a plant called mistletoe, in this case, from the door frame. And if you meet someone under the mistletoe, it's traditional to kiss. But of course, you don't have to kiss if you don't want to. And you see mistletoe referenced in many Christmas movies. Mistletoe. At Christmas time in the UK, many people put up a Christmas tree in their house, either made from plastic or real. Now, Christmas trees are decorated with balls called baubles and a star representing the star that guided the three wise men to the baby Jesus. But for many British people, Christmas isn't really a religious affair at all. It's a chance every year to get together with friends and family, to have time off work and to relax. And, you know, it's a great thing to do in the winter when the nights are cold and long. Christmas tree. Baubles. At Christmas time, many people send lots of presents and Christmas cards to friends and family to show they're thinking about them. This one has Xmas on it, which is another word for Christmas. And I want to say thank you to all the busy delivery people at this time of year. And I received the card from my parents this morning. Christmas card. Now here's another decoration that we really love called a snow globe. They're made from glass and filled with water. Inside there's usually a miniaturised scene of some sort, in this case a snowman. And when you shake the snow globe and put it back down, little white flakes fall like snow. Snow globes are also called snow domes. And this one has got a black, shiny plastic base, which is quite common for snow globes. Snow globe. Now this decoration is called a wreath and people often hang them outside their house on the front door. This one's got a pretty red bow at the top. 
made from ribbon. So anyway, you can buy wreaths ready-made or you can make one yourself if you like. But of course, if you make it yourself, it'll take quite a while. I mean, this one's taking quite a while to make today. It's a lovely green colour. Now, the word wreath sounds like it starts with the letter R, but actually it starts with WR, like the wrapped up writing set I received one Christmas, when what I really wanted were wrestling figures. Wreath. Now this is a Christmas cracker, but you don't eat it, it's a kind of game. Two people pull it and it goes bang, and the winner is the one holding the middle part and they win the paper crown, joke and small present inside. Christmas cracker. Food is a big part of Christmas in the UK. Traditionally, families get together to eat roast turkey with all the trimmings, followed by Christmas pudding covered with brandy sauce, and in this case decorated with some holly. Everyone usually gets indigestion and falls asleep in front of the TV. Then we eat leftover turkey for days and days afterwards. Turkey sandwiches, turkey salad, turkey casserole, turkey curry, turkey turkey, you name it, it's got turkey in it. Which is good if you like turkey. Turkey, holly, Christmas pudding. So, we hope this video brings you some Christmas cheer on what has been a difficult year. In this year of the virus, let's tell our friends and family how much they mean to us. So, remember that all this will pass, and we wish you all a very Merry Christmas. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to see more, and check below to book an art English lesson with me at Mia Zarate Art School. Merry Christmas, and see you next time.